Hey guys, here we are, Johnny and Kaysen, uh, traveling down I-44, uh, about to be in Medicine Park and the uh, Wildlife Refuge, Wichita Mountain. Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge, excuse me. Uh, exiting off here to go see what they got going on there. Um, Alright guys, Johnny and Kaysen here. We are entering the Medicine Park area of the Wichita Mountains. And uh, we're going to check out and see some of the closings. And uh, Medicine Park's usually a jumping little place. Uh, they have lots of concerts and lots of food venues and just lots of scenery, sightseeing, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to go check out and see uh, how this pandemic has affected uh, even those kind of little areas where there's usually large groups gathering. So, Alright guys, we're getting closer to Medicine Park, about to drive by Lake Latonka. I'm not sure if I've ever been. Have we ever been to that Medicine Park Aquarium? No. I don't think so. This over here is all Fort Sill. Yeah, there we are. Fort Sill area. I know they have a real big area over here in the mountains where they do um, testing. testing and Training. we can hear the bombs and stuff in Duncan uh, pretty often over there having fake wars and all that kind of good stuff. And we are usually driving down this road when it's a little bit warmer. Uh, we like to drive over here. Um, never really camped or swam or boated here, but uh, Johnny probably has. Um, but we like coming over here and driving around and stuff during the summer months, which is you know, it's actually spring, y'all. But it doesn't feel like it today. But it is. And a few residents out here sprinkled around everywhere. Probably more than you can see. There's a, some of the mountains. Sorry, the car gets in the way, guys. It's, like I said, it's hard to video when you're going 65. But, and you're in a little car but they had uh, the Wichita Mountains shut down to traffic uh, for a few months here a while back you can drive or, or walk or run or bike or whatever up the mountain and uh, they were repairing the roads trying to make it a little bit safer and um, now all that stuff's probably... Well, I don't know if that's shut down or not. I guess you can go up there now. But they, they I, I really don't know exactly what all they're shutting down at this time. I know lots of public places. And I don't know what that would be considered to be. But anyway, so I can't really say. But um, here we are. I've never, never noticed that. I was entering the city of Lawton. Never seen, noticed that sign before. And this is Lake Latonka. You can't see it yet. We're driving up to it. Some pretty houses up on the hill. It's at the foot or bottom of Mount Scott. Yes. You heard Johnny. Johnny is the resident brains behind all this and the fact checker. He's my fact checker. Sometimes I say things and I think I know what I'm talking about and I don't. Happens to us all, doesn't it? Alright, thank you. And, uh, yeah, there's some people on a boat out there. I said if it was, if it was a little warmer, it'd be better if the sun was out.
pretty little area. A lot of camping, a lot of trailers. Um, I guess if you're out here with your trailer parked, it's easy to stay six feet away from your neighbors. So. <laughs> Good time to go camping. Good time to go camping. Nobody will bother you, I guess. I wouldn't imagine. So. The road that goes on the dam. Yeah. It goes to Medicine Park. That's right. Tourist town. And that up there was a. Is that that winery up there? No. Oh, it's not. Okay, well, I'm a see fact checker. I would have told y'all an untruth. Not on purpose. I know that's around here somewhere. It's closed down now. We used to really enjoy going to that and just looking out over everything because it was really high up on a hill or a mountain. Or Johnny had some customers from Colorado one time and they thought it was cute that we called these mountains. <laughs> so, you know, I guess... Barely considered a mountain. Yeah, it's, it's mountains to us. This is mountains to us. Sorry guys, there's a lot of brush, not much greenery yet, but it's coming. There's buds on the trees. And just seeing a bunch of brush. And I'm not sure how far we are away from our destination. But, we're going to see. I've always been real bad about my perception of, of time and my perception of, perception of distance. <laughs> Johnny's good at that stuff. Um, I could, he can drive us up here a thousand times and I still won't remember how long it took us. Or, <laughs> uh, it's just like that. I'm just used to him doing the thinking. And I like it that way. Obviously, as you can tell, I can kind of mindlessly babble on. Isn't that pretty? There we go. So much prettier green, but it's still pretty. That's what I was trying to get right there. Uh, curves around. And... It's been rainy for the past week or so, off and on. We've got some pretty good rain though. We really have. Just a few years back, well, this was low. There's the Lake Latonka Spillway. Yeah, there's the spillway. Let's we'll see if it's running. Well, yeah, it rained quite a bit the other night. It may still be running. I don't know. Let's take a look. Alright, guys, I think we're going to walk down there. Oh, we're gonna drive down there. Okie dokie. Hmm. Pause. Here we are at the dam. Gonna walk out on it. As you can see here, it was built by the WPA in 1939. The year my mom was born. started building Oklahoma. The parks and wildlife refuges and stuff like that. Right here you can get a good 
idea how deep this lake is. There's the spillway, which is not running, so apparently it hadn't rained that much. It's not running. But it looks pretty deep. Pretty little place. That's Medicine Park, the little town we were talking about. got to the top to a lookout. We're going to go see if it's open here in a little bit. In the far background you can see like hundreds and hundreds of windmills, wind generators, make electricity. Welcome to Medicine Park, Oklahoma's first cobblestone community. Interesting. You'll be able to see a little bit better as we get further into town. I was going to show them that, but it's over there. You'll see it. In the, there's a building up here. The reason why they call it cobblestone community. A lot of these old houses and a few of the new um, have uh, the cobblestones. So, Rocks that were formed like that from rolling down the hill or mountain. There you go. Uh, they, a lot, a few, a little while back they had uh, a real pretty new house. I don't know if that was it or not. I don't remember that they had taken some of the old cobblestones and, built and a uh, built a new house out of it. It's a real pretty house too. It's up here somewhere, I believe. I'm not sure what all they got going on here. Oh, they're working on that one. Got some construction going on. And here we go. Everybody's just out and about, you know. Unless you're outside the car, it's hard to get everything. Oh yeah, you can get the essence. Uh, here he is. I got some people down here still. Yeah, usually. There's a little walkway down that way that you can go down. And there's some more houses over here. Oh, somebody's got a pool. I think that's the house I was talking about earlier, but how nice. And a couple of our favorite restaurants here is uh, Old Plantation and Riverside, which undoubtedly are both closed down at this point. But it kind of is what it is at this point. Here we're going into kind of the, I guess you would say it's kind of the downtown, and this is where a lot of their events happen. Uh, Medicine Park Music Hall and Event Center, which is right behind me. I just got the sign, I didn't get the building. Uh, that's Old Plantation right there. The cafe. Fishing. Yeah, there's people fishing. And they got like an outdoor venue for concerts on down the road here. Yeah, the Riverside Cafe. 
It's, um, no, this is old plantation. I'm sorry. Old, old plantation. Old plantation. The early eight, early 1900s. Yeah, old plantation cafe. Probably better to walk through all this, inside, but it's kind of cold. You're walking downhill. Yeah, you are walking downhill. Level, That's so. very true. Duck over here. And uh, they got all kinds of neat little shops and um, uh, obviously weed stores now. <laughs> Everybody's getting those. Um, yeah, there's the town hall. Ready? And White Buffalo Trading Post. It's cute. I smell fire burning. Uh, this over here is Riverside Cafe, where all these people are at. I don't know. Oh, they have a bakery now. And maybe they've always had it. Never noticed. And up here, um, Redneck Candles. Oh, here we go. Here's a small mountain tacos. A taco stand. Mm, it smells good. Cobblestone coffee and pastry. Cobblestones. Oh, cobblestones. How cute. I misread that. It would have been cute if I would have read it right. Stage. And yep, there's their stage where they have lots of outdoor concerts and different events that go on here. Local music. And the Purple Thistle. And, okay, and a while ago I said that was the Riverside Cafe and I was mistaken. This is the Riverside Cafe. It hangs out over the water. Yes, it does. And trees come out of the roof. Oh, they're open. Well, look at them. Aren't they brave? <laughs> and I believe, isn't that a hotel of some kind? I think so. I think so, too. Although, we've never... Lodge. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, plantation lodging. Is that what the sign says? Plantation Inn. Okay. Inn lodging. Yeah. So... Is that a weed store? Well... <laughs> Of course there is. ATM inside. No, well. <laughs> and Blissful Body. They've got a few new businesses up this way than they did uh, last time that we were here, which is kind of cool. It's a, it's, I'm, I'm telling you, on a normal day, or in a normal time, Lizard. Yeah, Laughing Lizard Trading Post. Um, this is a really hopping place. I mean, like, really. People everywhere having fun. There's some kind of a building. I won't, don't like their signs. I'm not going to get it. Up Creek Spirits. Up the Creek Spirits. There's a bar. Didn't know Liquor they had shore. that. Yeah, who yeah. knew? Liquor store, not a bar. Or, um, see, excuse me. See why I have Johnny What's around? Coming soon? Let's see what's coming soon. Oklahoma's only tiny house resort. Micro shops and eateries. Oh, that's going to be cute. How cute is that? Oh, that's that place Shannon and Jeff were telling us about, I believe. They said it's amazing in there. It's the real estate company. Well. So. Yeah, there's several. Well, look at that. Johnny and I have both, even though he's the hairstylist. I'm not. But he has talked about coming over here and open up a little shop or something. But we just talk. We talk about a lot of things. Pretty house. One new house is up here. Yeah. That one there looks Dutch. It yeah. kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah, they've. Really started oh nightly rentals. That's a that's a place where you can rent. Yeah, that'd be fun. Well I'll do that sometime. Now yeah, that is pretty. Very, very pretty. But uh and then I don't know, are we still We're exiting now. Okay, I guess we so are exiting. Okay. We'll resume the film when we enter Sounds good to me. See you then. Side of the river. And here we are on the other side of the river. That building there that you barely saw <laughs> was the winery that I was talking about earlier. And uh, we're going to go up here and see. We saw that Lake Elmer Thomas is closed. So we're going to go check and see if the 
road up to the Wichita Mountains is open or not. Who knows? We'll, we'll do this again sometime when it's greener and when we're able to walk around. And the aquarium's closed. Aquarium's closed. And uh, there's some cactus. This car's going too fast to get it all. And, yeah, what leg is that? I don't know. I don't know either. But here's entering the refuge. Okay, there's the wildlife Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. And uh, well, the fire danger today is uh, moderate. That's good. I was worried. Just kidding. Um. Kinda. Not last time we drove up here, it was kind of nerve-wracking a little bit. It's always fine, but heights are not my favorite thing. Never have been. Let's see here. Refuge guide regulations map. Alcoholic beverages, not here. Federal property. Federal property, not on their watch. There's a lake over there, but I can't swing around fast enough to get in. Real pretty area. I mean, it really, really is. Um, a lot of uh, buffalo in this area. I haven't seen one yet, but there is a lot of buffalo. Prairie dogs. And the prairie dogs. Um, yeah, it's just a neat, neat foxes. place. Yeah, foxes. Birds. A lot of different kind of birds. Eagles. Let's see. Now, this, I don't know. You know, you look at it from this direction, and it doesn't seem that tall, but it is. It really, really is. Uh, 1,100 feet, maybe. 1,100 feet, okay. I was not sure, but it's tall enough for me, I'll tell you that. My dad told us a story the other day about when he was younger, going up with some friends. Um, right after he got out of the Army, I believe is what he said. I could be mistaken, I believe that's what he said. Uh, going up Pikes Peak. And uh, that's a little taller. <laughs> well, there's still people out and about. And uh, in a way, you know, hopefully people are smart and... Uh, oh, yeah. Um, looks... I don't know. Mount Scott... Oh, we gotta read the road schedule to see... This is Holmes. I don't know if it's closed or not. They're in the sunset. I guess. I guess we're gonna drive on up it. And here we go. Now, this always makes me a little nervous, just because I'm a big scary cat. But it's fine. They worked on the road recently. I don't know what they did. Still has a cliff off the side. Uh, yeah, it still right has now. that. Isn't that fun? See how Johnny loves to comfort me. <laughs> oh, there's a sweet little couple. I guess walking up the thing. A lot of people walk up and and, and ride up on bikes, and, I, and there's different schedules for all that. I guess I I guess we're supposed to be driving up this. I don't. I didn't say not to. And. We're gonna see some pretty scenery, I know that. And I'm gonna we're gonna try to stay as close to the middle of the road as possible. Per my request. And uh, I'm I'm trying to catch the best scenery that I possibly can and sometimes I can't swing the camera around 
close enough or quick enough to get that. But... <laughs> okay, yeah, you watch the road. I'll video. I'm trying to watch the video while we're driving. <laughs> no, no. Mm. Uh, and see, we're not even halfway up. The rocks. Okay, he's wanting me to show you the rocks on this side. I gotta swing around. Water's running out of them. You can't really tell from the video. Oh my. Yeah, stay. This <laughs> always makes me nervous. It's fine. I'm just. I get nervous on Ferris wheels. Oh, there's a bird. There's a bird. Oh, well. You just watch the road. I got that bird kind of. And oh, it just feels like we're gonna keep going that way. Just go slow and steady. Oh my god, there's a drop off there. See, they've stopped. They're smart. No, I'm kidding. Lake well, these Elmer Thomas, Elmer Tom Lake Elmer Thomas, the one that was closed while ago. I don't see that little kid was walking up. If he can do it. I can do it. Walking up seems like it'd be safer, just more tiring. Oh, let's just go slower on this edge. I, I can hardly. I'm sorry if the video is shaky. I'm having a hard time looking through, and it makes me dizzy. So um, I, I, I need to. Mm. The video probably didn't make it look that bad. I don't know. I haven't watched it. Yet. Uh, okay. It's a it's a beautiful lake, especially in the summer. Yeah. Do they connect? Oh, one does go into the other. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look down there. <laughs> oh, oh, down here? Oh, down here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Some of them are knocked over. I guess that's why they don't allow alcohol beverages in this area. Did you imagine? Oh. Hmm. Still not to the top. Still not to the top. Oh, well, Johnny wants me to show you again over here. I know that was all quick. Don't know if y'all got all that. Getting a one car. Well, you got the the best view on this side of the car anyway. There's just mountain on the other side, and then there's nothing on this side. It makes it feel like the car's leaning toward that way. This is I don't know how many times Johnny's done this because um, I just don't know. But this is only like my third time maybe. I think I came up here one time with my mom and dad years ago, and then I've come up here twice with Johnny. This is, isn't that right? I think I think this is our third time. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, it's very pretty. Love it. <laughs> very very pretty. Going down always seems a little less scary. I do remember that. You get to hug the inside. Uh, yeah, you, you do get to hug the inside, not the cliff. That's right. Uh, Johnny always tells me I'm a little overdramatic, which is probably very true. Oh, well. The road is leaning. <laughs> I thought they fixed it. And they did it on purpose. They had to lean that way. I'm telling you. That's... 
Maybe we need to do that someday. Or they had the railing and the rocks were there. I guess the rocks were the railing on the other side of that. Which oh, I don't know. Oh, no. oh my. Going fast down that hill. That made me nervous. Oh. Okay, maybe I should get the road at this point. Because there's people running and... Oh, no. Okay. Yes. It's not that bad. Just down the hill. Okay, so we're going back over here because it's amusing me that people are riding and running and walking. That's running their little doggies. Much uh, healthier and better in shape probably than I. Yep, I see it. It is, uh, it is a lot colder up here, actually. And I remember my dad said that about Pikes Peak. He said that it was so hot when they started up. And he said by the time they got a little more than halfway up, it was cold and snowing. Now, it's not going to be snowing here, but... Um, uh, at this point, an airplane feels safer. <laughs> mm. Here we are. And I'm sorry, you're getting a lot of rocks. Rocks are pretty. Just enjoy it for a minute. We'll pass it. We'll get out of the car here in a minute. And show you some good scenery. I don't like getting too close to the edge on that either. Joni always makes me nervous. I don't like it. <sighs> How much farther at the top? Oh, a lot of windmills. You probably can't see them. <laughs> there we go. I'll, I'll get the windmills. You look. Yeah, oh my, we're getting higher. Um, I think we're. Sorry, guys. Mm. Okay, it's the back side of the mountain. Oh, okay, there's the inn. Oh, we're at the top. That made me nervous. I'd catch a cold. I would if I was riding my bike or walking up here. It's not time to have a cold. to walk down there this time. It's too cold. <clears throat> All right. So, here we are over by the lake. Johnny can tell you what lakes they are. I can't. What, is, that's one lake and that's the other? Is that correct? Thomas? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the windmill is over there. Like Elgin. Oh, okay. Way out there. Pretty pretty. We're in the clouds. Yeah, no, we're in the clouds, aren't we? Yay, love the clouds. Smart. 
I know he's coming up here. Let's see. Hey, there's some green. How oh, pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I see him down there. Tom's team. Right, right. 